Good morning students let us start with English grammar lesson number 23 punctuation and uses of capital letters Introduction the mark of punctuations are used in written text in order to make the meaning clear we use stops or marks of punctuations to separate one part of sentence from other part of sentences the marks are used to arrange a sentence in correct order according to its users are called punctuation marks marks of punctuation we use stops or marks punctuation to separate one part of sentence from other part of sentence the most common signs or marks of punctuation are the full stop the comma the semicolon the colon the question mark the mark of exclamation the quotation mark apostrophe now students we are going to learn marks of punctuation in detail first one full stop it is used at the end of assertive sentence and imperative sentence for example the sun shines in the east it is an assertive sentence so at the end of assertive sentence we'll put full stop keep quiet it's an imperative sentence so at the end of imperative sentence also we'll put full stop it is also used for abbreviation or initials for example ma it's an abbreviation full form of ma is master of arts bcom it is also an abbreviation full form of bcom is bachelor of commerce so for that also we are using full stop it is also used for decimal fraction for example 6.36 comma it indicates shortest pause to separate series of words for example lion tiger leopard and cheetah belongs to the cat family so here in order to separate series of words we have to put comma in between to separate phrase series for example eating or drinking sleeping or walking he is always dreaming so in order to separate phrase series we have to put comma in between to separate series of clauses for example i don't know who he is how he got in why he is here so here in order to separate series of clauses also we have to put comma in between to set of a noun of address for example karan comma stand up so here in order to set of noun of address we have to put comma in between other words following the date for example november 5 comma 2020 to separate part of address for example nelson's english school balwatika maninagar amdabad so in order to separate the part of address like nelson english school comma balwatika comma maninagar comma amdabad 8 so in order to separate the part of address also we are using comma after salutation for example dear rahul yours faithfully to separate expression like for example yes no ho well so for that also we are using comma to separate words or phrases in apposition for example shri narendra modi the prime minister of india is a popular leader so in order to separate words or phrases we have to put comma in between to separate a statement from question tag for example the news is true isn't it so here what is a question tag it is a confirmation of the statement so after the statement we have to put comma to separate speech from the rest of the sentences for example ramesh said what ramesh said work is worship so in order to separate speech from rest part of a sentence we have to put comma semicolon it is used to separate the clauses of a compound sentence for example he is brave i honor him second example i laugh i sing i dance for joy 
so in order to separate the clause of a compound sentence we have to put semicolon in between fourth colon it is used to mark of a direct speech for example riya says what riya says honesty is the best policy so here after riya says we have to put colon so here in order to mark direct speech we are using colon question mark it is placed at the end of interrogative sentence for example how are you so at the end of interrogative sentence we have to put question mark it is also used at the end of question time like for example we are meeting them on sunday aren't we so after the question tag also we have to put question mark exclamatory mark it is placed at the end of a exclamatory sentence or interjection for example well done keep it up what a pleasant surprise so here for interjection and for exclamatory sentence we have to put exclamatory mark quotation mark it is used to mark words of a speaker for example teacher said what teacher said work is worship so here in order to mark words of a speaker we have to put words in a quotation marks apostrophe it is used to show belongingness for example mohan's pen it is also used to mark short forms for example i ill it's so here apostrophe is used to show belongingness and it is also used to mark short forms now here students you have to keep in mind that for ours yours his us we do not use any apostrophes capital letters capital letters is used with the proper noun first one the name of a person like richa rudra mahatma gandhi so for a proper noun in that first letter of the word should be in a capital letter the name of days of week and month for example monday january so first letter should be in a capital letter the name of religion festival religious book for example islam hindus christmas the bible so here first letter of the word should be in a capital letter the name of the countries nationalities and languages should also be in a capital letter like india indian english french so here first letter of the word should be in a capital letter the name of schools colleges business and political parties for example nelson's primary school reliance industry mahatma gandhi memorial college indian national congress so here if it is a name of school college business political parties so here first letter should be in a capital letter name of ships brands building and trains for example rajdhani express the red fort titanic hero honda raymonds so here if it is a name of any ships brands building or trains first letter should always be in a capital letter the name of special days or special events for example quit india movement dandi march so here if it is a name of spe uh, special days or events the first letter should always be in a capital letter what should be capitalized the first letter of every sentences the first letter of direct quotations for example she said what she said i work hard so your first letter should be in a capital letter while writing titles of stories and essay should also be in a capital letter we also capitalize the first letter of all words except articles preposition and conjunction for example the advantages of getting up early autobiography of an umbrella we also capitalize the official name of government department 
the title of high ranking officials for example prime minister the minister of finance we also capitalize the pronoun and all the words standing for god o lord or almighty hope students you have understood lesson number 23 punctuation and uses of capital letters thank you